Good afternoon. Oh, good. Well, it's not really afternoon. It's morning. Oh, it's like 10. Really, dude? Why? I don't know why I bother. Why do I even bother making that? <laughs> he always sits in that spot right there. He, like, nestles his way through the pillows and sits right in that spot. So, today is Monday for me, Tuesday for you. I'm not really feeling my hair today because uh, to, today, this morning, was the third time in a row that I washed my hair with a co-wash and I probably should have, or like a cleansing conditioner, I probably should have used shampoo because I usually do it every two washes I'll use a shampoo but it doesn't feel itchy or anything a lot of times I can tell when I need to use a shampoo because my head will get itchy anyways good day it's Monday I hate Mondays if you guys remember from last week Mondays are usually my cleaning deep cleaning take Tim's mom run around and she uh days um let me sit you down hold on there we go. Uh, Mon oh, Jesus, look at this hair. Mondays are usually my, like, run around, do shit days, which I usually don't do until, normally I wait until, like, one or so to go to the store so that way I can clean and do all my dick cleaning and all that stuff. But I decided to go early today because I just want to get it over with. I just want to do it and get it out the way, girl. Now I'm having so much trouble trying to find foundations that um match my skin to my bowl a because it's like my arms are still you know tanned like semi-tanned but like my neck and my well my chest i guess is a little tan too but my like neck here and my face are not because i put skincare on them and i exfoliate them and wada 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 I really want to do a chemical peel, but, um, I don't want my face to get, like, bleach white while the rest of my body's, like, super tan, you know what I mean? But I really want to do a chemical peel because we got that reunion to go to this weekend, so I really want to do it, but I don't want my face to be super white because that makes me pale as fuck, girl. And, oh, I gotta put my lash serum on. Anyways, what's up? What's up? What's good? I think I am, like I said on yesterday's vlog, gonna order um, the Free People Pamp. And hopefully they'll be here by Wednesday. I need to get on top of that. I should probably do that, like, right now. Because there's only gonna, you know, up until a certain point. It's only gonna ship till Wednesday up until a certain point, I'm sure. Let me check that out, actually. I better check and make sure and see what the deal it with that. So, like I said, haven't really done much this morning. Um, I finished yesterday's vlog this morning because last night I just was not feeling it, dude. I was so, like, miserable because my nose was so stuffed up. You know when your nose is so stuffed up to the point where you can't even go like that or, like, push out or anything? It was, like, so fucking tight. Oh, God. And then my whole face just felt like it was throbbing because, oh, greens. I got to get greens at the grocery store. Um, my whole face just felt like it was throbbing <laughs> because of that. It's crazy, girl. It was crazy. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, free people. Uh-oh. It read it. I'll do that later. Fuck it. I need to get ready because I just called my mother-in-law and told her I was going to be there shortly. So, that's the thing. So, I can't find my skin tone. So, I've been mixing my Bear With Me by NYX and either Face and Body or, um... This, uh, Burt's Bees Goodness Glows. But the Goodness Glows, look, this is warm, honey. And when I put it on my skin, it looks so incredibly ashy. Like, I put it on, I want to say Saturday before we went to the haunted thing. Before we went to the haunted town hall. I don't know why I fucking feel like I'm British today. I need to stop because it's getting annoying, isn't it? Um, before we went to the haunted town hall, I had, like, put that on my face because it's a lot lighter than what my face and body is, even though it's still, you know, kind of tanny. 
and it was so fucking ashy it like looked gray on my face I like, don't know why like maybe it's just because I'm a little bit tanner now I don't know but I got yellow ass skin dude and it's kind of annoying because makeup companies like they do like yellow tones now but they're so off <laughs> like maybe I, I feel like maybe I don't know my undertone because I feel like their undertones are just like not with it it's either like this like sandy yellow color which is not me I don't know I don't know how to explain it it's weird girls weird anyway um have you guys do you guys watch uh Oh, what the fuck is his name? What's Shane Dawson's dude's name? Ryland. Do you guys watch his channel? He, like, came up in my recommended this morning when I was having my coffee. And there was, he did, like, a makeover on their patio and then, like, made Shane a makeup room or something. Um, but I was watching the one where he made Shane's makeup room. And I kind of feel like Shane Dawson when he comes out with his palette is going to start doing makeup tutorials because and I thought I should make a video about this that would get lots of views <laughs> because I wonder if anybody else noticed um so in the video at one point in time in the video because he got him like a um oh shit hold on BRB sorry that was Tim he calls me periodically throughout the day just to say what's up and say hi and say how you doing what's going on how are you you doing good okay um what the fuck was i talking about before he called um oh yeah the shane dawson stuff so anyways uh he was sitting there because they got like an impressions vanity mirror or whatever so he was sitting there at his vanity and he's like oh my god this is gonna be so cool when i like well i mm. and then he like stopped himself and he's like i don't wanna but it's really cool like i think he is when his palette comes out is going to do makeup tutorials that's why he has been like practicing on all of his friends that's why he has been like so super into makeup if you watch that video that motherfucker has a lot of makeup not to mention the fact that now that everybody knows that he's coming out with a palette and he's doing his own makeup and he's into makeup dude that motherfucker's gonna get pr like a crazy PR like crazy and Jeffrey gives him like in the last video Jeffrey gives him like a fuck ton of shit fuck ton of PR that he don't use I liked the last video a lot better than the first two the first two I was like oh my god it, it's just kind of boring and I don't care and I didn't think I would care about the process of them like creating the palette and everything but now that I've watched his last um, upload, I, it was kind of interesting. So I kind of changed my mind on that. I need to get my glasses on before my head starts hurting. The fuck did I do with my glasses? Did I take them off in there? I don't remember. Where did I put them? Wonder if I take them off in there. I did take them off in there. They're right here. My house is fucking trashed. <laughs> um, I've really got to clean, but I'm gonna take her first Tim's got a meeting at two o'clock today so he couldn't he wouldn't be able to pick bro up from school so I guess I get going okay let me change my clothes right quick and then we will talk on the way out to pick my mother-in-law obviously she's not gonna be on camera because she don't like it okay I will see you in two and two <laughs> Chuck Rory who's old <laughs> okay off we go <laughs> dude it is super fucking chilly out. It's only 56 degrees. <gasps> I can't take it. <sighs> Everybody in my neighborhood's like decorating for fall. So it makes me feel like I have to. Oh, he did take them down. I wonder what he did with them. Oh, he put little pumpkins up. This guy on this corner right here, I swear to God, I'm going to stop at his house next year because he has the most beautiful plants outside of his house. They're gorgeous. Like, tropical huge like if you guys remember um there i got like hair on my lip i put some lip oil on and i feel like there's like hair sticking to it or something oh they're selling that house huh i figured they was there was a dumpster there anyways like you guys fucking no anyways um 
What was I saying? Oh yeah, he has the most beautiful plants and he must be like a motherfucking green thumb. Because if you remember when I went to, I don't know if I showed you guys, I, I feel like I did, but maybe not. When I went to Oakland Nursery in Columbus last, or not last year, but like during the summer or whatever, I had gotten a taro plant, which is, they're called like elephant ears or giant elephant ears. And I could not fucking keep that thing alive to save my life. Like, I put it outside. It's a very tropical plant. And here in Ohio, it was super fucking hot all summer. And I, I don't know what I did to it. I don't, I don't know why it wouldn't live. So I was driving by his house one day and I seen that he had huge taros, like surrounding his house. They were all in pots, but I'm like, what does he do with them during the winter time? Does he take them inside? But they were in these huge gigantic pots. And the plants that are like on either side of like his deck were like these beautiful tropical plants. And I'm like, oh my God, how the fuck does he grow those? There's no way they got that fucking big just this year. So I really want to stop and talk to that guy and be like, yo, let's like exchange like planteries and stuff. Let's like exchange plant secrets. Not that I have any plant secrets or anything like that, but could you please bestow upon me your knowledge please thank you anyway um i need to quit saying that anyways i need to stop and chill out okay i may or may not have when i was younger i guess not when i was younger <laughs> a couple of years ago i used to take these diet pills called fasten and they fucking like rock your entire world they jack you the fuck up and obviously they make it like i i swear to god they make you feel like and you're supposed to take two of these motherfuckers. They make you feel like you snorted an eight ball cocaine. Like you are fucking, just did like a fucking bathtub scraping a mat or something like you're fucked up. So I found them in the cupboard cause I was looking for sinus pills or like allergy pills in her cupboard and I seen those fasting in there and I was like, mm, <laughs> I remember these. Which let's be real, not good for my stomach, I know. I know that I should not be taking them, especially when I'm going to be drinking this weekend because drinking is not good for my stomach and neither is caffeine and like other things like that. So, um, I was like, Ooh, hmm, let me just take a half of one. So I took a half of one and dude, I am like so buzzed. <laughs> like, I'm like, yeah, let's fucking go to the grocery store. <laughs> I want to do all the things. Give me some wood. I'll fucking build a house right now. Right now, I'll build a house. Like I... I'm a little, a little on edge. Maybe I, maybe should have, maybe have taken it. <laughs> but that's the type of dumb shit that I do, because I'm an idiot. So, that's that on that. That's what's good, right? That I'm trying not to say anyways, but we get into that sometimes when I'm like in a really talk, talk, talky mood. I'll be like, bah, 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 bah. anyways, bah, 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 bah. anyways, so, what was I talking about before I seen the guy's house with the plants? I shan't remember. I can't remember what I was talking about. I know what I was talking about. It's cold out. I can't remember. Anyways. <laughs> um, I uh, am super excited about Tim's little... Oh, look at his little dog. I'm super excited about Tim's little reunion this weekend. You know what I, I told Tim? He t completely shot me down. It made me feel like a total asshole too because I was like, oh my God, you're so right. I love you so much. So we were talking about, again, because we always do, we're like, oh my God, what are we going to do? Because we were talking about the Washington trip and, um, and talking about next weekend because if you guys remember, I told you we're going to see Joe Rogan next weekend and we're just going to go away for the weekend. Uh, Tim and I, which we've never done before for an entire weekend. A night, yes, um, but not an entire weekend. So he was talking about um, having, who was it, his secretary or something like that, like pick Aiden up from school and take him to her house because Tim's mom is going to come stay with him while we're gone. Uh, he was talking about his secretary. Well, maybe I can have uh, Courtney pick him up from school and like, bring him home or whatever so that way we can leave early and we'll have time Friday to do stuff and I'm like but I want to see him before we go Friday because if we don't see him before we go then we won't have seen him since Thursday 
and then we won't see him again till Sunday. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh, the trees are starting to change. That one little cold whiff brought the tree colors in. Very nice. I shall be getting phone calls for photography. Continuing on. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? Oh yeah. Uh, so then we started talking about the Washington DC trip and I was like, oh my God, I am probably going to have a fucking panic attack and a breakdown when he leaves for Washington if I don't go with him for five days without his phone, me not know where the fuck he is, what the fuck he's doing at all times of the day. It's gonna freak me the fuck out. And then we started talking about what are we gonna do when he fucking goes to college? And Tim's like, we're gonna have to find something to do with ourselves. And he's like, we need to adopt. We need to adopt another kid, like a four or five year old. We need to adopt a kid. And then I was like, well, what about fostering? And he's like, yeah, but with fostering, you get super attached to them and then you have to give them back and it's not fair. <laughs> so um, we were talking about that and I was like, ooh, I know what we should do. We should breed dogs. <laughs> and he's like, no, absolutely not. And he said, no, 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 because then it'll like make our house smell and it's just too much. No, and he's like, not to mention the fact that you, the, the last thing the world needs is another dog breeder. Like, with everybody all, like, dogs are, like, a fashion accessory now. And with everybody, like, all into designer dogs and this, that, and the next. Oh, please don't hit me, Farmer. Jesus, he got big tires. Oh, I thought he was going to hit me. Um, with everybody, like, wanting all these designer dogs, there's all these breeders coming out. And then they, like, use, like, improper breeding methods and... He said, there, it, for like every person, there's like a thousand dogs or something. Like, I mean, maybe not, but pretty fucking close. And he said that his secretary, her friend, does work for like the ASPCA. And she said they are starting to ship dogs, like 200 dogs at a time to New York because they just like have no root room because there's so many of them. He's like, the last thing we need to do is bring more dogs into the world that aren't going to get families and that are going to go out on the streets or even get killed because some of them get euthanized. And I'm like, oh, okay, I feel like an asshole. You're right. You're so right. I'm so sorry. You're so right. You're right. I mean, no shade to like breeders who are already breeders, but he's totally right. And I was like, oh, that's see, that's why I love you because you always caring about everybody else. You always putting everybody else in front of yourself. He's so sweet. So and the dog breeders out. I can't help it. I've been watching Joey Gris have his vlogs and like watch his little puppies and they just have like the perfect setup because he's like, what would you do with them? And I was like, well, I would put them in the side yard and then I would only do it during summertime and I put them in the side yard and he's like, what are you, where are they going to sleep? And I was like, well, I would make a little house for them like Joey has in his vlogs and then I would, you know, make a little run and stuff like that for him. And he's like, but what would you do when they're born? Because when they're born, they have to be in the house. And I was like, well, then you just build like a little thing. Like they built and have like a door in and out and just keep raising it higher the older they grow. <laughs> Tim's like, no, absolutely not. But I want husky puppies so fucking bad. I want like 10 husky puppies so I can live like Joey Grisefa and Daniel Prada and like play with my dogs all day. That's all I want. Okay. <sighs> What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. I'm pulling up to my mother-in-law so I will see you guys in a little bit. Hello friends. Hello friends. Hello kids. Oh, you know what? Let me open my blinds. Maybe that'll... A little bit more light. Hold on. So, I was going to talk to you guys about um, hierography, about burning things, but I've run into a debacle because, did, oh yeah, that helped quite a bit, didn't, not at all, didn't help at all. Maybe if I put the camera here, oh yes, that helps quite a bit. Um, what was I saying? Oh yes, I was going to talk to you guys about pyrography because, um, I'll probably do macrame in its own video and I don't feel like I know enough about pyrography to burn wood burning base. Of course you would start fucking with your brother. Leave him alone. You hear? Leave him alone. 
he, whenever Stubby's just like chilling, taking a nap, Hoyt's always got to go fuck him up. Anyways, um, I don't feel like I, because I haven't been doing it long enough, I don't feel like I know enough or am talented enough in it uh, in order to do a video on its own. But, so before I was getting ready to do that, I thought, let me go up on the free people and order these fucking jeans before uh, time passes and they, I can't get them on express shipping, you know what I mean, and get them before Saturday. So, I went up on there and I started ordering them. And then, see what happened was, every time I went to look at these jeans, I would always go to the link that my friend Amanda sent me and just click on it through there. I never like looked at anything else or whatever. Um, but then I went, hey, I'm not sure I put this on for. what is it, that sub? Uh, I don't know, try like a minute, maybe, to start off with. Try 20 seconds. Of course. Oh, this would be going down. Hey! No! Shut up! Fuck my life. Fuck my life. Anyways. Love your life. I do love my life. So I went to free people directly. And I found these. Oh, look. Front and back pocket. Stop focusing on me, camera. Front and back pocket. What? No. Wait, stop it. Stop it. Over. Over. Ah! Please don't get those. So Please. So cute. Excuse you. So cute, right? Yeah, it's I know. Why don't girls buy jeans like these? Okay, buddy. My only problem is that um, these are $120 higher. <laughs> and they are not distressed at the end. They are hemmed at the end. So I feel like they're probably going to be really long. Because um, I think it says that the inseam. Who charges $120 for jeans? Free people. Um, it says that the inseam is 33 inches. That's fucking really long. <laughs> like, real fucking long. Um, but god damn if they're not so cute. The only thing that I'm worried about too, though, is that, god, these ones though, these ones though, um, the only thing I'm worried about too is that the other ones have like a lace-up thing in the back. Remember, I showed you like a little lace-up in the back. And if they're loose around the waist, you can like cinch them because I always have that problem with jeans being loose around the waist and then tied everywhere else. And you can cinch those. Maybe I should, I should probably just get the other one, shouldn't I? Because these are $128. $128. Uh, $128, you guys. Fuck, man. I don't spend that money on jeans. Like the most I spend on jeans is like 70 bucks. $128. That's so much money. Okay. Let's do this while I think think it over. Think it over. God, I should really. Oh, oh shit, I should plug my shit in. Okay, so um, I am going to talk to you guys about pyrography. So pyrography is wood burning, just because I had quite a few of you guys ask about it. Uh, so how I got into it, um, I, I honestly don't even remember what just like sparked something in me. It's, here's the thing. I'd be up on the Pinterest <laughs> and I'd be scrolling and pinning and scrolling and pinning and putting it in my shit and I see shit and I'm like, I could do that myself. And I think I saw something on Pinterest where I thought I could totally do that. So I went out and I got this kit. This is by Walnut Hollow and this is a wood burning. It's actually like a wood burning slash welding, um, thing welding is it welding no that would be weird soldering that's what it is wood burning slash soldering thing and it comes with all these tips this was like i want to say okay th this kit because i bought a really really cheap one because i was like i don't even know if i can do this i'm gonna buy a cheap one and i bought a really cheap one and it was like 10 bucks i got it at menards i don't even know the brand it was like 10 bucks came with three tips these are the tips 
and you basically just screw the tip into the top. So this is the tip. You screw it into the top and then you turn it on and blee, 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 wood burn. For those of you who are like super into farmhouse, I would get one of these because it's only 10 bucks and you can make the cutest little like wood burned wood signs. Basically what I do is just go on Pinterest or I search for fonts and I write out what I want to write, whether it's a welcome sign or, you know, whatever else. Like, um, in my previous vlog, that sign that I made for my friend that I showed you guys, I just go find the font for it and then I print it out on my printer and I trace it onto the thing. That's basically all. I have carbon paper for tracing, by the way. And that's basically all I do. Other than that, sorry, Tim just came in and stop it. Other than that, I will draw something out. I never burn before drawing something out first because it's so much easier to follow a pattern um, than it is to freehand burn, unless you are super hella fucking talented and are like an actual artist that can like actually draw real fucking good. Even still, this feels, it's like being a tattoo artist. You know what I mean? Like just because you can draw doesn't mean you can tattoo. Like I had this friend and he is the most amazing artist I've ever met in my life, my cousin Mikey. I said my friend, my cousin, whatever. Um, he is the most amazing artist ever. He can do portraits and he does like anime. <laughs> artists in the world so when we were younger all my friends pitched together <laughs> okay I think they're finally fucking done so anyways um what was I even fucking saying oh yes so my friends pulled together because my cousin is amazing awesome artist yeah 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 my friends pulled together got him a tattoo machine and he couldn't tattoo for shit he's like I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. This is completely different than drawing. And not only did he not know what the fuck he was doing, but he had nobody showing him. There was like no tattoo artist there showing him like how hard to push or this is what you do when you shade and this is what you do when you Nothing. He had nothing. And like, how are you supposed to practice when you don't know what the fuck you're doing and you have nobody to show you what the fuck you're doing? You can't practice on people because you're going to fuck people up and give them shitty tattoos all over the place. So everybody just assumed that because he could draw, he could tattoo. Not so. I know people who cannot draw, but can tattoo amazingly. So it's, it's the same thing with wood burning. So when it comes to wood burning, and that's why I say like, don't burn anything that you don't draw out first. Um, the way I describe it is wood burning is like, imagine, cause it's so different than like a pencil to a paper. It takes, 1800,000 times longer to burn something than it does to draw something. So imagine doing the slowest. What? What? What, am I interrupting your vlog? Yeah, you are. And as are the dogs. And your dad. And everybody else in this fucking house. Then do it in your room. Do it in your room. Do it in your mom's room. Anyways, um, wood burning is like, imagine the something that you do that takes the longest time doing ever. Imagine the slowest possible thing you do. Pyrography is 10 times slower than that. <laughs> Like it takes so long. Like the piece I am gonna show you is not even close to being done. And I have probably a good three to four hours in it and it's like not even close to being done. So 
Um, it takes a really long time. If you're doing like intricate things, if you're just doing fonts and you're coloring in and whatever else, you're making cute little like farmhouse things and stuff, it doesn't take that long. But the tool that you have depends on how long you're gonna take as well because the more expensive tools burn a lot hotter. So this was my first tool. Well, my first one was like the cheap one, remember I told you? And then I got this one, it was like 26 bucks at Menards because this one had a temperature thing on it because the other one took so long. Aiden, I am trying to film. Could you not do that, Rude? Um, the other one took so long to burn because what would happen is like he would draw a line and by the end of that line, your tip would cool down. So then you would have to wait for it to warm back up and you know what I mean? Not cool down as in like it's not burning at all, but you can tell in the thickness of your line, okay? So, the tip, where is it that I use used most often with this one is this little slanted one here. So it comes, they usually come with like a tip like this. Looks like that, it's got a little slant to it. And I like this one because I just feel like I have more control over it for whatever reason. Even though you would think you would have more control with this one because it's it's not slanted, because it's like straight like that. But for some reason, I feel like I have more control with this one. So you, mostly cheap kits come with these two tips, and then you also get a shading tip, which looks like this. And depending on, some people may not even need like the higher voltage, more expensive machines. I've seen people draw entire fucking portraits with just this tip. I am not that talented, <laughs> not even freaking close. So I was using this and what I found was, and you know, with that tip and there's also a pencil tip and you'll learn like if you are interested in doing it, you'll learn as you do it. There's a tip like this. This is a soldering tip, but it looks just like this. I just can't find it. Um, with a tip like this, you'd think that this would be the easiest because you could draw lines. But the problem is, is that because the tip is so fine that the heat like doesn't evenly disperse and you get these little dots as you're burning. And it's so annoying and it, it just doesn't look professional and it doesn't look neat, you know? It looks like, it looks like elementary school drawing. Like the, it just, I'll show you. But anyway, so this I found and I love this and I've done things with this, like that face that I did that I showed you guys in one vlog I did with this. Anything that has like straight lines and stuff I like that I could do. Every time I do homework. Anything that has like straight lines, I can do with this. When it comes to like circles or curves, I cannot do with this. And that was what led me into purchasing this. So this is more of like a professional grade wood burning tool. It comes with these little tips. Oh, I don't have my tip. Oh, there we go. I got it off. So comes with like little tips like this with a little rounded tip. So this is actually a shader tip, but I use it to draw. I use the edge to draw because I just like the line that it gives better. And then you can like push it against the wood and shade with that. Comes with a rounded tip like this, a pointed tip like this, um, a tip that looks like this, but it has a little dot on the end. And then a tip that kind of like goes like this. I should have fucking grabbed them. I'm so stupid. Let me go grab them real quick. Be RB girl. Let me put this back on though. Um, well, let me explain this first and then I'll go get that tip. So the reason why I got this is I felt like I could not do circular patterns and I just felt like it was very limiting. Like this one was very limiting and I wanted to be able to not only do it faster because it's really, really slow doing it with that. And I wanted to have a little bit more accessibility when it came to doing circles and curves and waves and things like that. So I got this. This is attached to this. The heater comes with a little dial that like heats it up. This is by Walnut Hollow. I also purchased this at Menards. I would absolutely love, this takes the longest to do things, even though it's hotter than the other one and takes a shorter amount of time than the other one. It still takes the longest to do anything it feels like, but it, unless it's something, when you're doing intricacies, so when you're doing something that's really intricate, 
that has a lot of lines and a lot of curves. It takes for fucking ever. But if you're just doing words and big shapes and stuff like that, and you're filling in and whatever else, then it doesn't take that long. It takes no time at all. But when you're doing like little intricate stuff like this, hold on, let me move all my stuff. When you're doing like intricate stuff like this, it takes a really, really long time. So this I did all with this by drawing it on first and then you know, burning it with this. So if you want to start getting into it, I would go out to Menards or wherever. I think they even sell them at like Hobby Lobby, but I would go to Menards because I'm pretty sure it's like 20 bucks at Hobby Lobby. It's only like 10 at Menards or Amazon. You can get it on Amazon. Um, I would get the $10 one and just practice. Like these that I have are just little slabs of wood that I get at Menards. They come in like berry thicknesses. You can get it real thick or real thin. I'm doing it on this right now because I just started like a couple months ago. So I started doing it on these. Um, I have not gotten into like what the best wood is to burn on. I've heard that basswood is the best wood, which if you guys remember from my vlog where I showed you that little bee that I made, that is a basswood slab. Uh, what I'd like to do is go to like a lumber mill or something like that and get, um, big huge slabs of maybe like one inch or two inch thick wood in order to do this on a bigger scale. I'd like to do like big giant wood pieces of this. That is the goal eventually. However, there's no fucking way I'm gonna be able to do it with this. There are better burners than what this is. Um, however, they are around two, $300 and I don't want to spend two or $300 on a wood burner ATM just because, um, I'm doing macrame, ma ma I'm doing macrame and other stuff too. You know what I mean? And I don't want to just push out the $300 cause I already bought the $10 one about the $26 one about this. This one was $98, but I had like a, a gift card and a rebate from Menard. So it only ended up being like $30. But um, this will suffice for now. But once I get into like bigger scaled projects, which is what I eventually am gonna do, uh, I'm gonna need something a little bit better. I would love to get a coal wood. Coal wood is like the top of the line. It's like the Chanel, the Gucci of like wood burners. And it burns really fucking hot. It burns really fucking fast. And it burns with um, intricacy and, uh, what do I want to say? What's the word that I want to use? Burns. Uh, how do I, what word do I want to use? It burns, um, more evenly, I guess. I was trying to think of a big word for evenly, but I couldn't think of one. So it burns a little bit more evenly than what this one does. This one, um, cause I'm using such a thin tip can really, really, uh, take a very fucking long time because this little tip is so thin to draw a line. I'm, I mean, I'm like, this is how fast I'm going right here to draw. Look, I'll draw my finger at the pace that I draw a line. This is the pace that I draw a line. This is real time. No, I'm not fooling you. No, I did not slow the video down. This is about how fast it goes <laughs> for real. And I could use different tips to go faster, but for some reason, this particular tip, I don't know why, but I'm not as shaky and my lines come out so much more smooth and so much more straight than when, hold on, let me go grab the other tips. Here we go. So these tips burn a lot hotter and a lot faster. So this is the little angled tip I was telling you about. Looks like that. If I tried to draw a line with this versus that, for some reason, I get real shaky with this particular tip. And my lines aren't even, and they're not straight, they're not smooth. I think because the ed edge of this is like so sharp that it kind of cuts into the wood as it's burning. And because it does that, it keeps it steady. You know what I mean? Because if I were to do this, like if, this line around the edge, if I were to do that with this tip, it would be like, oh, I don't know why. I don't know what it is. I don't know why. And when I first bought this, 
I like started using this tip and I was like, oh my God, I fucking suck at this. <laughs> what the hell? This sucks. What the fuck? So then I started using that because I had seen somebody do a video where they said that they had used the shader tip, the edge of the shader to draw. So this is another shader tip. This is like a pointed shader tip. And this one's just a little bit too thin to draw with. So that's why I like using that rounded one. And then you have your little ball tip. And this tip is primarily used for dotting. It's used for um, calligraphy, like uh, words, <laughs> Jesus, words. This one's more used for like, you know, writing things out. If you have level heat and a steady hand, you can write things out. Okay, so as I was sitting here waiting for my fucking camera to cool down, I realized that I totally forgot to tell you guys too, um, a huge, huge advantage to using the this uh, burner with the little tips like this over this one is the fact that, and it reminded me of it because I had to sit here and wait for it to heat the fuck up, these take forever to warm up. And not only that, but when you change tips, that, sorry, you're on my coffee pot. <laughs> uh, when you change tips for this one, you have to let it heat up, do your thing, and then let it cool down completely before you pull your tip out and then put your other tip in and then wait for it to heat up. That's why it was taking me so long to do things. So that is what led me to this one because this one's literally like, you turn it on and boom, it's hot. You turn it off and boom, it's cold. Like when you turn it off, you can literally touch it right after you turn it off. Like when you turn that dial off, it stops burning wood. It, it just cools down immediately. So when you're doing like a big project like that, you can change in between tips without having to wait all that time. So, and I should have put the other tip on here, but I've got, this is just like a board that I use to, cause I always check you know, before I, um, let me do it so you can see it. I always check like how hot it is, what the lines are looking like, if it's burning like really thick or thin lines or whatever else. I always make sure to check that and test it on like a scrap piece of wood before I go in and start burning. So I've got this turned up to full power and this is how like thick the lines are. If I wanted to make like little skinny lines, I just press lighter. If I wanted thick, you know, really deep burnt lines, I press harder. But all in all, it, it really is gonna depend on you kind of teaching yourself how to do it, because that's what I did. Like there are some tips and tricks, like I always burn towards myself. Um, a huge tip that I learned that I didn't see anybody talking about was the fact that when you're burning, you don't have to push to in order to burn something. You don't have to like push into the wood. You literally just like sit it on there and drag it and just let, basically just let the tool do the work. You know what I mean? So when I was talking about the other tips, leaving the little dots, this is what I was talking about right here. Can you see that right there? Yeah, so see how there's like little dots and skips like on here, there's like little dots and skips. It just looks unprofessional and it looks like really juvenile. This, all this stuff is just me like fucking around and obviously I'm not that great of a drawer when it comes to like just drawing straight from burner to wood, which is why I always draw in pencil first. So this was why, another reason why I wanted to go to the other one because even though I can make like a big giant circle with this one, I cannot make like little small circles. I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but if I were to try to use a tip, because I'm sure some of you are like, well, why don't you just use like the tip of that and just, you know, draw a fucking circle. But the problem is, is that it just, I don't know, it just doesn't work because it burns unevenly and then you end up with something like that, which is not a professional circle. But with the other one, it burns so nice and so evenly. So let me put this one down and I'll kind of show you the difference between that one and this one. And notice the tip on this one is angled even with the other tip, like the tip that wasn't angled, that little short little tip, I still like, you know, the circles I make are only so big and the curves and stuff like that. And when you're making something like mandalas, 
there's so much intricacy involved and curves and you know loops and stuff like that that it, it for me a it took entirely too long and let's be real y'all know no y'all know no <laughs> see i'm so fucked up y'all know i'm the add queen so i can't sit and do something for that long even when i'm like burning with this i gotta walk away from it after about like half an hour an hour because y'all know i can't do the same thing for too long so as that one took i don't know 10 5 10 minutes to heat up this one will heat up Oops, that's that one. Let me unplug my other one so I don't melt my countertops. That would suck. And I will be in big trouble. Um, so, this one, I plugged it in. Hear that little tick? That was the dial. So, as soon as I plug it in and turn the dial instantly, it's already burning wood. This one, I've used this tip so much that it's, like, starting to get old. So, it does take a little bit longer, but... See, I'm burning right away. As with that one, it took five or 10 minutes for it to heat up to even get to actually burn the wood. So this one I like because I can make small little jibby jabs and make tiny little circles. It's kind of hard to do it like this when I don't have something I'm drawing on, but you get the point, right? And then this is another uh, thing that I made. This one, did I make this one with this or with that? I made ones, like the one that I showed you guys that uh, was by my little girl on my bookshelf right there. Um, I actually made that one with that. So it's not impossible, but to me, because I'm a Capricorn, because I'm a fucking professionalist, professionalist, <laughs> perfectionist, because I'm a Capricorn and a perfectionist, for me, it's not good enough. Like I want something that looks professional and perfect you know what I mean so for me it's like just not good enough so what I do is like go through and like I said I'll draw some lines out and see how it's burning the one thing I don't like about this walnut hollow is the fact that I don't think the tips are that great of quality so if you want to get into wood burning and you like I said earlier, buy the little $10 kit, see if you like it, see, like, get the feel for it or whatever. If you're going to bump up and buy a really expensive, you know, like, tip like this, I would save your money and buy a better one than this Walnut Hollow one. Because even though I may or may not have said earlier, go buy this, I'm gonna, <laughs> I feel like I kind of just wish I would have waited and taken the money that I spent on this one and saved it with some other money and then bought, oh, look at my eyebrows, and then bought like a coal wood because those are just so fucking nice. And, and you can just tell like after you burn for a while, you can tell when you look at other people use those how nice they are and how well they burn because the heat on them gets so much hotter than what these ones do. So for instance, like most wood burning tools so I have this set at full blast and the tip isn't red the tip should totally be red because it's at full heat so most other wood burning tools of this type um the tip would be like fire brick red when it's hot when it's at full heat this one's at full heat I actually thought about taking this one back because when I got it some of the numbers were worn off and I just felt like it from the beginning didn't get very hot so I'm actually contemplating I still have all my packaging and stuff in my cupboard so I'm contemplating taking this one back and switching it out for another one and seeing if that makes a difference because when I go online to Amazon or whatever else um, and read the reviews the reviews are all like really fucking good they're like oh my god it felt good and I did this, 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 and this and I'm like mine's good but I feel like it it Maybe it's just people who aren't, like, doing high-grade professional stuff. You know what I mean? So they don't know the difference or whatever. But anyway, so that is the man on that for wood burning. Um, I can't think of anything else to tell you. Um, I, don't, I don't know that there's anything else, like, tips and tricks. Um 
that I can think of. If you guys want me to do a soul video, I don't know if I want to do like its own video on it just because again, I, I haven't been doing it for very long. There's a whole pyrography community on YouTube. Go check their videos out because they are so much better than I am. I fucking hate this camera so much. Like when it comes to me like actually trying to film anything with like duration to it, it, it just like constantly shuts off and overheats. It drives me fucking nuts. Anyways, um, there, what? I don't even know what I'm saying. I got pissed. There are people on YouTube, like a whole community who know way more than I do and do way better than I do. So check them out. I can't think of any names cause, um, I'm not really subscribed to them because it's not really my jam to watch somebody wood burn because I don't know. I, I on TBH find it kind of boring to just like sit and watch somebody draw. Like I would just rather do it myself. You know what I mean? I more like watching the videos to get the tips and the tricks and the how to's and stuff like that. So, um, that's it. That's what's up. So, Oh my god, my little vine, my little root thing is out of water. I need to go put water in that. So, that's that's it. That's it. That's what's up. So, I am actually going to end this vlog because it's going to be hella fucking long between um, me talking about that shit and whatever the fuck I was talking about earlier. I don't remember. So, uh, that's it. So, this vlog isn't two or three hours long. I am going to get off here. I got to get off here and make supper anyways. I'm sure the boys are getting soups hungry. Aiden's already eating us up. He like usually doesn't eat what we eat unless it's like something he likes, but not too often is it something he likes. He tries stuff. He'll like try something and be like, yeah, that's good. And then I'll never eat it again. <laughs> He's like the biggest fucking kid, I'm telling you. Anyways. Okay, so. I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna run outside and see if Babes wants me to start a subs. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Happy vlog. God, I always wanna say vlogmas. I say vlogmas in my head before it comes out of my mouth, but it's vlogtober. Happy vlogtober day. What day is it? Uh, 10? What did I say earlier? 10, 11? I know I was up on the YouTubes uh, changing that shit. Let's see, what is it, what is it? Nope, go to your videos. Happy Vlogtober Day 11. Day 11. Okay, so see you guys tomorrow. I love you guys. Peace, love, a chicken grease girl. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs>